In this video I want to tell something about a radioactivity indicator. You see a typical uh, Geiger tube. It was made in France. And here inside you can see two electrodes. When you look closely, I hope it's visible, when I use this magnifying glass two electrodes and um, the principle from such a circuit is that when uh, radioactive parts enter the tube the gas the gas inside the tube ionizes and that means that it gets conductive and these are uh, small peaks uh, depending on how many particles enter the tube and at what which strengths. And the tube is connected in a high voltage circuit here with a high voltage diode. So there is a static charge here parallel to the electrodes from the tube. The charge is stored a little bit in this capacitor. You can also use a filter uh, with a resistor here and a new capacitor here to this dislocation. Um, and the generator works with a transistor and works on approximately 16 kilohertz or so. When the gas inside the tube ionizes it gives a sort of click and that click sound is amplified in an amplifier here with transistors. You need for this circuit a special high voltage diode. Here you see some high voltage diodes. They have special properties. One of the properties is that the internal resistance inside such a diode is extremely high and that means that the oscillating circuit here is not damped. So it doesn't uh, lose its good properties on the resonance frequency where the whole circuit works. Here you also see some high voltage diodes. I salvage them from a high voltage circuit. When you see these kinds of circuits somewhere in uh, old electronics, you can always, uh, you can be very sure that this is a high voltage circuit. It's a cascade circuit in which uh, the voltage on each diode makes a certain jump to a higher level. And that's why you see these capacitors and these diodes in uh, a cascade uh, circuit. These are high voltage diodes. These are also high voltage diodes. And this also here, these small ones, they can all handle um, approximately 1 milliampere or so, or 2 milliampere doesn't matter much and then I mean in this circuit it doesn't matter much because the output level from the generator is approximately 1 milliampere. This is the tube I showed it earlier. I've also uh, used an American tube from an American manufacturer. This is the box in which the tube was sold It's a French tube. I think it's made or sold in Paris. These are the data from this tube. It's completely obsolete, of course, but I'm sure when you want to make a radioactivity uh, counter circuit, you can find uh, other tubes. And on the internet, I also have found uh, circuits in which uh, even no tube is used. In that case there is a wire inside a, a metal tube and the ionization takes place between that wire and the metal tube. So when you are interested in such a circuit, uh, search the internet uh, to find an electronic circuit that uh, matches and that you like. 
here you see a typical high voltage generator. This one, this is the high voltage uh, coil. This is the coil, uh, the drive coil to which the generator is connected. Square wave generator here. It's also in my books, this circuit. And here you see a sort of the tripler circuit, the green uh, thing here. It's a tripler circuit. There are uh, a few diodes in it uh, combined with capacitors and they triple the output voltage from this high voltage coil. So when it gives uh, 1000 volts here, you'll find here at the output from the tripler, this location, this wire, you find uh, 3000 volts. You can also make such a tripler yourself. It's also in my books. You have to make that with high voltage diodes in, uh, in fact, a classic, a classic uh, tripler circuit that you can find everywhere on the internet. So uh, these are the principles when you are interested to make a Geiger counter radioactivity detector and um, I wish you luck.